Hello, and welcome to Storytime for All Kids. Today's story is Sparky and Eddie, The First Day of School. Written by Tony Johnston and illustrated by Susanna Ryan. Sparky and Eddie live next door to each other. Sparky was born on the 4th of July. He was named for sparklers. Eddie was born on a plain day. He was named for Uncle Ed. Sparky was tall. Eddie was short. Sparky had freckles. Eddie had none. Sparky liked trees. Eddie liked bugs. They were so different. They were best friends. Sparky and Eddie played all summer long. They climbed trees. They looked at bugs. Sparky got more freckles. Eddie got none. Then it was time for school. Sparky and Eddie wanted to start school. They wanted to be in the same room too. Their parents took them to school one day to see who their teachers would be. The room lists were up. Sparky would have Mr. Lopez. Eddie would have Miss Bean. Sparky and Eddie looked at each other. They gasped. We're not in the same room. They felt glum. Too glum to climb trees. Too glum to look at bugs. Too glum to even cry. They stared at nothing, feeling glum. Then Sparky said, let's make a deal. What deal? asked Eddie. We're not in the same room, said Sparky. So we won't go to school. Cool, shouted Eddie. This year we'll stay home. We'll climb trees, Sparky said. We'll look at bugs, Eddie said. We'll have fun, 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 shouted Sparky. Then he said, shake on it. So they did. No switchies, asked Eddie. No switchies, Sparky said. Eddie told his mother, Sparky and I made a deal. We're not in the same room, so we won't go to school this year. Oh dear, said his mother. Your teacher will be sad. Sparky told his father, Eddie and I made a deal. We're not in the same room, so we won't go to school this year. Oh dear, said his father. Your teacher will be sad. Eddie told Sparky, if we don't go to school, our teachers will be sad. They'll whimper, said Sparky. They'll whine, Eddie said. They'll blubber. They'll cry like rain. Sparky and Eddie felt so sad about that. They almost cried like rain. What can we do? Sparky asked. Eddie thought. He thought and thought. Then Eddie said, We'll give them a chance. If we like them, we'll stay. If we don't, we'll go home, said Sparky. We'll climb trees. We'll look at bugs. We'll have fun, fun, fun. This is a switchy, said Eddie. That's okay, said Sparky. It's a nice switchy. Is it a deal? Deal, Eddie said, and they shook on it. It was the first day of school. Eddie went to his room. Miss Bean was waiting, smiling. She had a rhinoceros beetle on her desk. Eddie thought it was beautiful. Miss Bean let the kids look at it. She let the kids touch it. Some kids said, ooh. Some kids said, ah. Eddie said, ooh and ah. Sparky went to his room. Mr. Lopez was waiting, smiling. He had a bonsai on his desk. The bonsai was short. A dwarf, really, a dwarf tree. Mr. Lopez let the kids look at it. He let the kids touch it. Some kids said, ooh. Some kids said, ah. Sparky said, ooh and ah. Sparky and Eddie met at the boys' bathroom. Do you like your teacher? asked Eddie. Yes, said Sparky. He has a bonsai on his desk. What's that? Eddie asked. A short tree. Short like me? 
shorter. Cool, Eddie said. Do you like your teacher? Asked Sparky. Yes, said Eddie. She has a rhinoceros beetle on her desk. Wow, Sparky yelled. A rhinoceros on her desk? It's a beetle, said Eddie. Then he said, School is fun. I will stay. I can be your best friend even if we're not in the same room. Me too, said Sparky. Sparky, asked Eddie. Could I see your teacher's bonsai? I want to see something shorter than I am. Sure, said Sparky. Could I see your teacher's rhinoceros? I want to see a rhinoceros on a desk. It's a beetle, Sparky. I know, said Sparky, and I want to see it. Eddie said, okay, we'll see it after school. Okay, said Sparky, let's make a deal. Beetles and bonsai after school. Cool, said Eddie, but this time, no switchies. Then they shook on it. The end. I hope that you enjoyed this story. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more stories read aloud.